Sawadee Krap, and welcome to Phuket Extra Extra, where we take a look at the top five stories of the week. And this week, one of the stories that's been making headlines all over the place has been about the allegations into pay for promotions within the Thai police force ranks, specifically here at Region 8 that handles Phuket. Let's take a look at the rest of the top five. And a warning out to all charter boats to be careful when anchoring. As this next footage shows, you never know who or what could be in the water. A 13 second clip uploaded by a Facebook user is making the rounds after the captain of a charter boat dropped an anchor near a popular diving spot not far from Rachayai. The underwater motorbike attraction is popular with divers, but the anchor knocked the bike down and according to sources, there were divers in the area at the time, but luckily no one was hurt. And instant karma for a thief in Chiang Mai after he broke his leg while trying to flee from a Buddhist temple after stealing money from their donation box. Chinese national Wei Zhengguan, along with a friend, used a string and plates covered in glue to hook money from inside the donation box at the Wat Tatu Doi Kam Temple in northern Thailand. The suspect had pretended to make merit at the temple and attempted to steal the money while his friend was a lookout. But he was caught, and as he tried to run away, Wei fell down the serpent stairs of the temple, breaking his leg. Wei is currently recovering at a local Chiang Mai hospital and was charged with theft from a religious establishment while police are on the manhunt looking for the second suspect who managed to get away. And breaking his silence for the first time since being transferred because of an ongoing investigation, former Region 8 Police Chief Lieutenant General Tessa Siriwatu is publicly denying any corruption by involvement with the pay for promotions within his ranks. General Tessa spoke with NNT earlier this week following his transfer to an inactive post in Bangkok. He said he never requested favors in exchange for promotions. Corruption allegations were made by the former head of the People's Democratic Reform Committee, Wittaya Khao Pradai, who was threatened with a defamation lawsuit by the National Police Chief earlier this week. It's unclear if General Tessa will return to his post after investigation into allegations of buying and selling police posts and promotions is concluded. And full-on sex shows are now in Phuket and authorities want your help to stop them after one of the quote performances was shut down last week. Colonel Santi Sakuntanak, the highest ranking army officer stationed in Phuket, led a team in a raid of the Wake Up Club in Patong last Wednesday, which was hosting sex shows targeting Chinese tourists. The Phuket News reports that officers found hundreds in the audience watching what police called a pornographic show on stage, and both performers were arrested while the club owner was charged. Authorities are now on the lookout for more of these types of shows and are calling on the public to help provide information by calling 081-642-5635. For more details, visit thephuketnews.com. After a visit to one of the sites where the new Phuket Expressway is to be constructed, Governor Norapat Plotong is convinced more than ever that the 22-kilometer Saku Kokeos Expressway will help ease the island's traffic problems. The five and a half billion baht 12 lane expressway, which will go from Kokeo to the Phuket International Airport, it was approved last year and is currently undergoing through the environmental impact assessment, which should be done by July. The route will run parallel with villages around the area and even have a bicycle lane. The 22.4 kilometer Phuket Expressway was meant to be constructed before the start of the light rail project to ease traffic congestion during its build. But because of the route running through conserved forest areas, it's taking a bit longer than thought and it's expected to be completed by 2022. Well, that's it for Phuket Extra Extra this week. Check us out on Phuket Extra on Monday where we'll catch you up with all the news you missed over the weekend. Until then, Stay classy, Phuket. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Hey. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Buenos dias. Nin hao. Здравствуйте. Привет. Guten Tag, ich spreche Deutsch. Sawadee kap. 
We are ready to provide international medical service with warm Thai hospitality. Call us at 1719.